Hello, amazing artists. Mrs. Hales here with your next art lesson. Today, we're going to be reading a book called Go Away, Big Green Monster. And then we're going to be painting our own big green monsters. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Let's get started. Go Away, Big Green Monster by Ed Emberly. Big Green Monster has two big yellow eyes, a long bluish greenish nose, a big red mouth with sharp white teeth, two little squiggly ears, there's cut paper holes in the book. Big Green Monster has scraggly purple hair. And a big scary green face. But... You don't scare me. So go away, scraggly purple hair. Go away, two little squiggly ears. Go away, long bluish greenish nose. Go away, big green face. Go away, big red mouth. Go away, sharp white teeth. Go away, two big yellow eyes. Go away, big green monster. And don't come back until I say so. The end. One of the things that's so cool about this book that you might not be able to tell through video is that this book actually has the pages cut out on purpose where the monster's eyes and mouth and ears were. So then when you flip to the next page, it either adds more to him or takes more away from the monster. So I thought that was, I think that's a very clever way to make a book. Um, boys and girls, today the supplies that you need are a big white piece of paper, you need a paintbrush, you need um, two or three or four yellow circles, depending on how many eyes you want to give your monster, because your monster could have one eye, or maybe your monster has like five eyes, I don't know. And then you need some long white triangles, about an inch each for your teeth. So again, maybe you want your monster to have one tooth. Maybe you want your monster to have more than that, and that's fine too. And you also need some green paint. Let's review how to hold your paintbrush. With your thumb and your pointer finger, you're gonna hold the metal part of your paintbrush, kind of where it meets the wooden part. And then you're gonna tuck that long finger up behind those two fingers for control. And this control is gonna help you put paint where you want it. You want your paper vertical in front of you, that's tall and skinny. You're gonna get some green paint on your paintbrush, and then you can make your monster any shape you want. I wanted kind of a roundish monster. You can paint him in circles if you want him to look lumpy and bumpy. You can paint him with long straight strokes if you want him to look like that, kind of shaggy. Or um, I'll show you another way in a minute that you can paint him, but you wanna fill in your whole green monster shape. Again, um, with your paper vertical, if you wanna make a big oval or a circle and then paint that in, you can do that as well. So whatever shape your monster ends up being is totally fine. He's gonna be a big green shape on your paper. If you would like to give him arms and legs, you're welcome to do that. They could be long or short, skinny or fat. Now I'm gonna clean off my paintbrush because I don't wanna leave green paint on my paintbrush. 
While your big green monster is drying on your paper, you're gonna put two black circles in the middle of his yellow eyes with crayon for his pupils. His pupils are what helps him see. That's the black part in the middle of your eye. And then you can um, paint or draw a red mouth. And you can do this with crayon or with paint. At this point, your monster should be almost dry. So you can glue your eyes on and you can glue your teeth on. Remember, you can have as many eyes and as many teeth as you want. When we are gluing, whatever kind of glue you're using, you want to follow this simple rule, dot, dot, not a lot. So that rule again, dot, dot, not a lot, really applies to when you're using Elmer's or any kind of liquid glue. Um, and so you just need a tiny little dot to hold this, uh, these shapes onto your paper. If your paint is a little bit dry, but not quite dry, it's okay to go ahead and glue because then the glue and the paint will dry together. Boys and girls, I hope you have fun making your big green monsters. And don't worry if you make a mess, that's all part of the process. Just clean up after yourself. I'll see you next time.